know this, but I just want to reiterate that not every metal riff and rhythm that you write and play has to be played with the lowest notes possible. I always encourage you to expand out a little and let's say maybe write a riff or rhythm on the D and the G strings on your guitar like what we're going to do in this lesson here. In fact, you're going to learn a piece of the song called Your Hand I Still Hold, and that's off my latest album, Overcometh. Now, real quick, what I like about playing these riffs on the D and the G strings, it actually can give you a little bit darker feel to it, if that makes sense. And this song, towards the end, gets a little dark. I'll tell you what it's all about in our guitar chat, because I have some other cool stuff to share with you. So do hang around after the lesson. We're going to have our usual guitar chat. Let's start out by playing this metal riff out in the open here. I like to do this because this is how it's going to sound when you're playing it as well and then I'll break everything down note for note. <laughs> This is based on three power chords. We're playing in the key of A minor. I'm in standard tuning. I like to simplify this stuff first, but we've got an A power chord, or rather a chord that we're basing off the A power chord. We're not technically playing the entire power chord here, and I'll share that with you. I'll share what we're doing here. Kind of gives it that more edgy sound, and it kind of just goes back to some of the classic heavy metal. If we think of bands like some of the older Queensryche, maybe, uh, maybe some Maiden and stuff like that. So anyway, we've got the A, we've got an F, we've got a G. So three chords that we're basing this on, okay? Very, very simple. And let's just play this first little part here. Instead of playing the A power chord in the fullest, okay? Uh, we're not playing that open A string. Instead, we're starting on the next note of that power chord, okay, which is the second fret D string. What I'm doing next is I'm playing the fourth fret of the G string here, okay? So it sounds like this right here. Now already, you may be thinking, wait a minute, Jason, that's, that's like the same chord as an E power chord, right? Those are the same notes, just an octave higher. Yes, that's actually how we start the A power chord in the key of A minor. So we're playing that note. The reason why I want to point this out here, it just shows you how well certain keys and certain chords and certain notes go together because right after we play that fourth fret on the G string, well, we're going to take that finger off and then I've got the two, the second fret of those two strings, the D and the G string barred. So you get the sound right here. which makes up part of the A power chord we would normally play. You'd normally just play that, that A string open with those other two strings. Now, sometimes you'll play a power chord and you'll just play the first two notes, which would be that open A followed by the second fret D string. But sometimes you might play more of a full power chord and play that next note, which is the higher octave of that note you started with. Listen to this. Now, I hope I didn't throw you off just now. I, that's not really part of this riff. I just kind of wanted to explain that because now you see how things sort of work together. So I, I hope this is making sense. Please let me know in the comments after the lesson. Go through the lesson first uh, because I may answer some of the questions you have right now as we go through this riff. But please, please leave those questions in the comments. I'm happy to, to explain further if that doesn't make sense. Again, not really part of this lesson here, uh, this particular riff, but I want to show you how all these things kind of coincide together and how you can just take a power chord, for example, and maybe say, well, I want to play something a little different. I like that power chord I'm playing, but how can I change it up a little bit? Well, we just did that, okay? Again, this first part, we're starting out with the second note of the power chord instead of that first note of that power chord, okay? We've got D and G strings, frets two and four, then we're going to pull off, I'm using my pinky finger for that, you can use your third, whatever, doesn't matter what works best for you. You guys know I always say that, do what works best for you, okay? And I'm going to pull that off and kind of go off and on there on that 
G string between frets four and two, okay? Just like this. All of that's based on the A power chord in the key of A minor in this particular case. Now I've got some palm muting in there and we'll throw the palm muting in towards the end. Let's go over these basic chords first. After I play that part, I'm gonna actually play the E power chord here the, on the higher octave, right? The D and the G strings frets two and four, but I'm gonna quickly slide up to the F power chord like this. <laughs> aren't difficult at all. It's just more of a rhythmic pattern here that I chose for the rhythm. Remember what I tell you, your riffs don't always have to be ultra complex or difficult to sound good. Make it more about the song. Doesn't mean you can't have complexities. I'm not, I'm not against that at all. I've got some riffs that might be a little challenging. Um, this just really isn't one, one of them unless you're looking at it from a rhythmic perspective and of course singing while playing this at the same time. So next, the final piece here, we're going to go back to what we played earlier. Okay, we just went through that. I won't go through that again. We're going to play the entire riff all the way through in a second here, by the way. But the very, uh, the very last part is going to be this. <laughs> All we're doing here is going from that F power chord, an octave higher than what you're used to playing it, right? And then going from the F to the G, then back to the F. Now we've got a little palm muting in here, of course. So I'm gonna play through that very slowly for you. I'm gonna throw up the tabs so you can see where the palm mutes are. But all I'm really doing is just kind of a choppy little palm mute, kind of to break up the monotony, I guess, between the power chords. Like I'll play it normal speed and then we'll, we'll slow it down with the tabs, okay? And you see how that last part of that little riff there, I don't do the palm muting. I choose to do things that way just to break things up a little bit. Sometimes if it sounds too monotonous, whether it's a lot of palm muting or a lot of notes or fewer notes, maybe I want a, a part of that riff to sound just a little different so it doesn't sound like a loop if that makes sense, okay? So let's throw the tabs up here. We're gonna go through this entire riff. I'll play it through a few times kind of slow and then I'll end playing at normal speed and then we'll have our little guitar chat that I always truly enjoy with you.
guys, it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show here, our guitar chat. But real quick, if you do not have my free Metal Riffs and Licks practice guide, grab a copy of that. This guide has literally helped thousands of guitar players. I give this to all my subscribers. Now, if you already have my practice guide, check out my metal guitar courses online. I have links to all this cool stuff in the description of this video. During the lesson, I talked a little bit about this song being played live, and well, I'm putting this video out there on the Saturday, February 17th. I usually post these types of videos 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, a few hours from now, or many hours from now, I'm going to be on stage, well, playing this song and several other songs from my latest album, Overcometh. Guys, I'm super excited about this. You guys know I play live all over the place, but it's usually the acoustic solo type stuff where I'm playing cover songs. And hey, I enjoy doing that. It gives me it gives me some stage time and it's just cool. I've met so many great people and I'll continue to do that. But to play my own music and to have a full band behind me playing this, I mean, it's metal. I can't really do this solo, right? And I was not going to play the tracks. I've, I've done that before. Nothing wrong with that, but there's just nothing like playing with a full band. So I didn't know uh, if I'd get this opportunity to play the songs off this new album with a full band in a live setting. Well, I am playing at the Brass Mug in Tampa, Florida tonight, and I'm the opening act for the Florida Metal Show. Now, the bands I'm going to be opening for, these guys are legends in the Tampa Bay area. They've been around, I think, since the 80s. Of course, you guys know my good friends in the metal band Siren. I've had Doug Lee on here. I've had Ed Aborn on here, and uh, I'm actually going to have Todd Grubbs, our guitar player. This dude has his own music school by the way i've got him coming on the channel here pretty soon as well uh after that a cool band called oblivion is playing so they're gonna play i think i think those two bands are playing for like an hour or something like that and then we're ending with another band called seasons of the wolf so i'm super excited to be part of this i was super honored to be brought into this to be asked to play now i talked about a full band playing behind me so i have got I call him Sir William James just because it just sounds cool, you know. But William James, he is the drummer for an extreme metal band here in Tampa called Must Not Kill. Of course, you saw William James on the channel. And, of course, their guitar player, Brad Mater, he's been on the channel. I plan to have those guys back on at some point because they were just super cool. I want to get their, of course, their vocalist and bass player on the channel as well. That's all coming up. But, yeah, Will agreed to play drums with me. He's amazing. Uh, I've got Drew. You guys know Drew Carlton from the Drinking with Drew show you've seen him on the channel he's the dude that did the video on my channel uh coming back playing guitar after being away from it for like i don't know 20 30 years well he has brushed up his chops and then some like he is spot on now and he's been practicing the songs we've all been practicing together i also have a guy named daniel santana he's with a local tampa bay band called precipice and actually i was introduced to him from brad mater from must not kill we needed a bass player we had been practicing uh like i don't know probably four or five times with no bass player just the two guitars and the drummer and then we brought daniel in for the final two practices and he just caught up on everything just like that so super excited about the show now real quick the song i told you it was a little dark so the song your hand i still hold it's actually kind of a love song it's about my wife and i going through this journey together but throughout the whole time we just knew that we were going to die together so that's kind of what the song is about and you'll get it as you get to the end of the lyrics by the way so i'm gonna have footage for the show that we're doing when that video comes up i will have it right up here for you you can go check that out now of course if it's not available yet then do check out my lyric video for this song your hand i still hold i'll put that one up there for you guys thank you so much for watching my channel keep it metal and keep playing music.